Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, playing in the region of Mexico. A region I don't normally play too often in, but I decided, you know what, because the Old World Blues update, or the latest one for 3.0, had Texas, I think it's time we started to play as a little bit of Santa Ana, the man of destiny. Now, I'm going to leave historical AI focuses off, as well as go ahead and blow up, let's see, where is him? Tlalocan, is he here? Default Zapata, no, I don't want him to max or increase anyone's strength. I want him to go bye-bye. But let us begin with Santa Ana. So, what mods are we using? Old World Blues. Old World Blues Radio. The State Transfer Tool Mod. Player-led peace conferences, as well as colored events. Five in total. So, I've never played as Santa Ana before. Now, like I said earlier, I specifically waited to play this specific nation because I wanted to see if there's anything special with Santa Ana, if you take over <clears throat> San Antonio, Texas, specifically the uh, place where the Alamo currently is. But I, the Alamo may, might move someday, but I kind of doubt it. But anyways, let us begin with a focus. The lessons of Tlaloc. Tlaloc programmed Santa Ana to guard Texas against the army of Atis. When crafting a personality, how could it not pick the last Mexican to be obsessed with that state? Willing to not let nothing stand in his way. So we have four research slots. We are advanced on naval vessels. And that's it. Okay, and we don't have very much for special forces. Totally fine. And we're civilized. We're not even advanced. Oh. Now that's a little different. I'm scrolling my mouse, mouse wheel up and down. Huh. That is definitely different. Up and... Yeah, it goes left and right when I scroll up and... What the heck is going on? Regardless, Ohm's Law. And combat language. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing... Fairly well myself. Fairly good, so. Construction basics. Actually, robotics. Is there anything we could do here for robotics early on? It doesn't look like it, so... Planes! What do we start with? Oh, another reason why I wanted to play as Santa Ana. Specifically Santa Ana, because he uses robots, and I can't remember... What is... What is going on? If, uh... If I've played using robots yet in Old Blues, yeah. Okay, something seems to be really going on with my buttons right here. It might fix itself later once I take, once I reload the game, but whatever. I just want to build up factories for now. Cool. Anyways, we got some heavy lift robots. We got some commercial protectrons. We're probably going to need at least a little bit of this equipment here, so that would be good to make. We got one, two. Buckle my shoe. Heavy lift robots. Thank you. Some ships. Hopefully won't be too important. See, I don't, honestly, I haven't tried this off screen yet, so I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't even remember what normally happens between Santa Ana and everyone else, so... Goodbye. Do we start with the Navy? Maybe yes. Oh, we do actually start with the Navy. Nice. So we're not going to make any ships. Admiral Yoquin Baragan. Baragan. Very good. Alright, go ahead and train until you all die. And we're going to make nothing but convoys. Hopefully we don't need the Navy too much. Alright, and divisions. Fuerza Milicia. Eight combat with Guardia. Not bad. Um, I do... I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I do like having a, a few pieces of, you know, normal infantry around. I'm not going to make a lot of them, but I'll use them to a degree. So, we'll see what happens. You go low, go high, and let us go ahead and... Uh, you know, I'm going to split you guys into two, maybe, to begin with. There we go. Cool. Ah, Mr. Santa Ana. He's an aqua boy. Did you know Santa Ana is an aqua boy? He might be an aqua girl. Cool. And, you know, let time go on immediately. Also will be Jose de Uria, Enduring Jose, as well as Manuel Fernandez Castrillon or Martin Perfecto de Costa. I kind of like the guy whose name is Perfecto, but this guy likes P or P-E, and he looks much more serious with his arms crossed and he's level 4, so I'm going to go with that guy too. And let's see, plays in, no, I'm good, I'm going to disable backstory decisions, very, very nice. And Captain 3.0 update, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. I've already played it, so I kind of know what caps are like. But, the lessons of the father. Santa Ana was the firstborn creation of the mighty Tlaloc. Known to be the most single powerful AI in all of the wasteland, throughout its developmental states, it imparted innumerable lessons onto Anta, onto Anna, working to shape him into the entity that he is today, despite being a recreation of the original Caudillo. It is these lessons that form the very bedrock of who the Generalissimo is, of all aspects of his historical counterpart. Tlaloc saw fit to teach his son with the particular care given to the Presidente, the Generalissimo, the Caudillo. Ooh, that looks like, oh yeah, oh Caudillo, yes, please, senor, yes. Santa Ana arrives in Ciudad Victoria, 
The first mission of Santa Ana was to liberate the small raider city of Ciudad Victoria to see how the AI would react when given the opportunity to strike out on his own. With, of course, Glelog's blessing in the form of a Steel Legion. An ultimatum, huh? Oh, why am I on edit mode? Oh no, the game is bugged. Oh, it's not bugged, it's just a little glitch. Uh, how do we get rid of that? How do, I, how do you guys get rid of that when it happens to you guys? Because it sometimes it just locks itself onto here, and there's nothing I can do about that. So, whatever. The Ciudad Victoria Ultimatum. The first of Santa Ana's tasks was to clear Ciudad Victoria of bandits and raiders. When he reached the city, his robot army encircled the town and threatened them with annihilation unless they capitulated. The general's robots broadcasted a simple instruction to all that would listen. Join the army or perish. I kind of like that. Or join the reconstruction authority or die. Kind of like that too. Naval speed's not great, so I'm going to go with this one. We'll get more manpower as time goes on. And the conquest of Tampico. Tampico was occupied by so-called revolutionaries, bandits by any other name. How the general acted both tactically and strategically to free it set a precedent. It is very, very good. And, okay, so good. I know we have to go to war with these guys eventually, and so I'm going to put you guys over here. Thank you very much. Oh, God. I already know one of the worst things about Mexico. It's the waterways. Whatever. We'll deal with them. National Spirit, El Caldillo. Awesome, awesome. And advanced power management. Super advanced. Tampico was the next city to be liberated for Tlaloc and Mexico. Home to a band of rogues who called themselves revolutionaries. Santa Ana drove them through skillful use of his army, and particularly of the heroic conscripts who gave their life to capture Tampico, or the Steel Legions, or Legions of Steel, that liberated the city through blood and fire. Well, we're getting able to technology anyways. I think I want to go with robotics since we are going to be using them anyway, so that sounds a little better. And the Fist of the Caudillo. The general always sought to use his army to protect the people of Mexico. Sadly, sometimes people didn't understand that they needed said protection. What do we have for economic policies? Baragan? Martin? Al Alvaro? Almonte? That's not bad. 20% is pretty good. But this is all robust. So we probably don't need that. The destruction of Tamp Tamalipas. I see the word Maul in there, and I instantly start thinking of Darth Maul from Star Wars. Tomalipas, when Santa Ana approached, it was occupied by a detachment of the Texan Brotherhood. Once he realized that they were successors of the American army that invaded Texas so many times, the follow did not go well. Santa Ana learned much from the scarred survivors. Ooh, jungle machine spirit. Robots, amphibious marsh jungle river, attack plus 30% and movement. Oh my goodness, we get power armor technology bonus research too. Or the decimated detachment supplies became most useful. Oh, we... Oh, mar amphibious marsh... Oh, so basically we get the same thing. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if we're really going to be using power armor that much. Since, especially since I want to go down the robotic warfare uh, land doctrine. So, the decimated detachment supplies became the most useful. The jungle spirit, I love it. So, we actually have a, a pretty decent focus tree. It's not great, but not too bad. I did now, huh? Superior mechanization. Cartel El Colibri. Colibri? Negotiating the cartel to push north. Hmm. Well, I don't want to... I do want to get some warfare, but I want to make sure that we develop ourselves appropriately before things go too crazy. Completed Tlaloc's illness, and Tlaloc's illness is where? Well, I don't see. Oh, it's right there. All right, it's cool. I'm going to do this one. Cartel El Colibri. The cartels plague much of Mexico, but if there's one thing the general won't tolerate, it's other rivals for power. We get two more arms workshops off map, not bad. Resource wise, how are we looking? Actually, we get 1.17 political power every day, not too bad. Resource wise, we're doing very, very well. Wow. And Pedro Mexicano, they actually might go to war with us eventually. Let's see. Efficiency focus is not bad. I like that one. Extraction focus is pretty good as well. Industrial focus, which, like we saw earlier, is not too bad. A veteran politician has completed a focus. That's okay. It's not great. 0.1 more political power in exchange for consumer goods factories. Eh. We lose political power for 5% more recruitable population. Mexico's already rich with manpower. I'm not really sure we need any more for Montezuma, but hey, that's not bad. And Zapata? Oh wait, these are all my brothers. Oh, multi-population and infrastructure construction speed. Okay. Interesting, to say the least. Very interesting. And we have national garrisons. Oh, we're 10%. Oh, we're 10%. Are we mobilizing? We are. Wait, we started at 2%. We're mobilizing to 10% already? Hold the smokerinos. Next up, dismantling the El Cobre Cartel. Or absorbing the cartel. Emptying the nests. Which is, does not look bad. 
But let's negotiate with the cartel first. Despite the best efforts of a robot army led by the ghost of a 19th century general, cartels plague much of the general's territory. Some part of Santa Ana yearns to crush him and end their blight, but this one wouldn't be the first time he accommodated powerful influences in La Patria. We should promote Mexican small businesses. Okay, cartel blues. Let me explain to you how you negotiate with Securitrons. I kind of like that one. So, negotiating or not negotiating? Hmm. Rebuilding the nest. Emptying the nest. I kind of like that one more, but we do get resources. So if we promote them, we go down this way. Building bridges requires that one. This one requires that one. The way it looks like here, it looks like you need all three of these to get down here. But you don't. If we want, what about this one? No? Um, honestly, this one's better. Dismantling this. Does not have negotiating with the cartels. I don't think it's worth it. Well, that's actually, that no, that one is worth it. Well, whatever. I don't really care. Not too much. So, absorbing the cartel. Apparently, Santa Ana did come back from the dead just to deal with some junkies. Oh, well. Whatever. By the time we're done here, all of Mexico will be under us anyway, so... It's weird about the conscription law for Mexico. Seeing as, as you raise your conscription level, sure, you get less warps, you get less stability, less construction speed, but you get more outpost construction speed, more division, attack, and defense, which makes it very, very strong. Very strong in Mexico. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, combat language, you don't mind if we do. And let's go and grab some reference manuals. Let's grab some secret language as well, and let's go start with our land auction of automated warfare. Human targeting warfare? I love targeting humans. Can you say that? Yeah, I love targeting humans. They're my favorite animal. This is getting weird. Oh well. <sighs> really such. So we have about a month left for reference manuals, and then after that, rebuilding the nest, ending the raids. Oh, that's good to get rid of. So rebuilding the nest. We've managed. Oh. Okay, Imperial, that's okay. Or Maximilian. We've managed to work with the cartels and direct them towards a peaceful, lawful economy. No, 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 no. New ideas to cater to Mexico's markets have arisen. So, we'll do that one next. Superior mechanization. Some naval dockyards, civilian workshops would not be bad. More civilian workshops, but honestly not much, man. It's not much. Ooh, military factory, don't mind if we do. Ah, yes, planes. Very good. Very, very nice. Uh, he falls ill. He looks so serious, man. Manuel. Manuel? Manuel? So serious. Stability and construction speed is a big old no bueno for us. Oh, that's so sad. But in the meantime, can we go ahead and begin a scavenging program? We might as well. How much money do we have? No money! Do we have a trade node? Oh, oh let's see. Reference manual is not bad. Uh, 0 0.71. Let's grab some more output. That's always good to grab. So, we... Monterey. No, we didn't have a trade node. So that's going to be a big old problem for us. So we're going to need Monterey. So Maximilian starts off pretty darn strongly with a trade node then. And if these guys want to kill each other, so be it. You know, whatever. Oh, or borrows to clear one of them old bones. Bonerinos. Six, five, four. I think we'll have this one done. Doesn't really matter. Any of the raids? Let's do that. The remaining cartels are on the run. Attack! Drive them back! This wasn't the first rebellion Santa Ana faced, but God willing, it shall be the last. You get three whole dockyards? Ah, oh, three whole dockyards. So yeah, seriously, I, th I think this is the first campaign I'm playing actually with robots since Old World Blues update came out. I could be wrong. I could actually be really, really, really wrong about that one, but I don't think I am. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see, awareness. So on our robots, we usually don't get awareness. Let's go with my person then. Aqua boy, girl, experience soldier losses. It's going to be like nothing, but we're going to grab that anyways because we can. Cool. And Jose. Anything here? Not really. I mean, we did that one earlier. I almost never do survivalists. You know, we'll do that one. Why not? I almost never choose that one. And Mr. S oh, Senor Santa Ana. He's not a savage leader, huh? He's a tough leader? That's not bad. I like that one. Tough leader's probably right. Cunning leader? Robotics? Yeah, that seems like the way we got to go and go with cunning leader because we get more... Attack and defense sounds pretty good to me. Next up, extraction. Civilian and military. 10%'s not bad. I kind of want to go down here first, though. That's more important. And then maybe getting some more army XP. With, oh, research speed for air, land, and naval RXP. And daily army experience gain. Not bad. Ending the raids, though. Superior mechanization or militias? 
thus to superior mechanization. Santa Ana's forces did not use the shoddy Robco designs, but reflected the Petro Chico TM tra engineering philosophy. Not bad. Motorized slides about to take flight. That's very, very good. Next up, we're going to go ahead and do some construction basics. We can use robots, but we don't know how to build stuff correctly. Not yet. Or effectively, really. Alright, so now we're out of resources called scrap. Well, that ain't good. And it looks like the Republic of the Rio Grande just ain't having a good time now. Oh, Imperial Mexicano. Maximilian, daddy. Oh, he's going to be hes going to be a little bit of a problem for us. Ending the revolts, eh? Militia Blues. Absorbing the militias? Dismantling the militias. Unified Coast. Ooh. Building bridges. Order from Chaos. Clelox Illness. Reckless Anger. I like that. Auto Denial. Acceptance. The Older Brother. Ri Northern Rivals. Reckless Anger. Man and Machine. We can research a lot. Nice. Full control of Armageddon Estacion. Huh. Superior Mechanization. Let's go with Ciudad Victoria Land Acquisition. The people of Ciudad Victoria need to devote themselves to a war with Texas. How can they waste their time in idleness when it must be secured at all costs? And then we'll integrate the militias. Or not integrate the militias. We'll do something with the militias. I have no idea. We currently have outside volunteers, which is not bad. You get 5% more non-core manpower. A little bit more resistance target. But get more daily compliance. Compliance is very, very nice. Oh, actually, Reclamation Authority, thank you very much. We're going to need more money. Hmm. Really? I want to go to war with Maximilian's fast. Actually... You know, it might be a waste of political power, but I'd rather have that there just in case. Just just to see if anything would happen. Mr. Perfecto. Anything there? Now, you'll def I'll definitely do Life Giver to you, because I don't want to lose as many men as possible, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, go defend against Petro Chico. Or, or not Petro Chico, Moctezuma, just in case. Never know what they might be up to. Construction basics, very good. Let's go ahead and grab some woodworking. That'd be very, very nice. Or bars of clay war and dry bones. Next up, we are going to do... Tom Tamalapas Militias. The militias of that T word are nothing more than the raiders by another name. Santa Anna can conscript them or kinda use them as targeting practice. Alright, well, you know, whatever happens, happens. We need a lot more robots though, that's all that's what I know. We need a buttload more robots. And actually our scrap deficit only hurts our convoy, so that's not too bad. Age Clear War on Ruby Valley Refuge, alright, not bad, not bad. Uh, focus on the internal sphere. Eh, this mental scavenging program, not really worth it. Honestly, not really. So they actually make almost the same amount of robots every week. And these have five, but those have three factories. Not bad, not great. Interesting, though. Twelve days left. Let's see, we've got more than twelve days. So after work as needed, he falls ill. That's not good. We're going to go ahead and probably grab... Probably some more cap and growth. That's not bad. Cap and growth is usually pretty good for tool procurement. Manpower's looking pretty good. Still, we're almost a little bit more than halfway mobilized already. Not bad. Cool. And actually, after that, not too many days left. So, after that, let's see, we'll read the push north. I would like to get that. The general stirs, huh? I do want a little bit of violence here done. But negotiating with militias. The time has come for us to decide if we meet the demands of the militias at the negotiation is table. They can bring much needed strength or tear our army apart from the inside. Shall we meet their demands and integrate them? Or simply dismantle them at gunpoint? All the same, now is the time to decide their fate. Negotiate. Or we negotiate with no one. Not negotiating. Absorb them. Uh, looting the towers? Well, we would absorb these guys. I'm going to go this way. Dismantling the Tamalapas Militias. The only problem Santa Ana has with the militias is that they're too close for missiles. So let's switch to guns. Cool. They didn't need them, right? Now I want to get rid of that debuff. Oof. That does not very bueno. Seriously, uh, I would really like to take these guys out. I would really, really, really like to. I'm going to split the lands between us and the Republic of the Rio Grande. But I kind of doubt that they'll be able to stop... These guys down here, maybe they will, maybe they won't, but you never know. You never know. A little bit more research is very, very nice. Crowd control, might as well, thank you. Next thing that we're going to do, production policies. Wow, this is not that great. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Economic advisors, efficiency, output. We could really use more output. Even more resource, resource efficiency gain would not be bad. Oh, I want to get up. Focus research, that's, that's too good to pass up right now. Helps out with the land auction. 
Let's see, nine days, about a week left, about nine days. This one will be done first. So which we can do, dynamic, tactics, integration, army gets more defense, as well as max speed. And who's the army? There are all, a lot of battalions that's considered the army. Including Alamo Volunteers. Huh. There we go. And then, looting the towers. The fortifications of the militia are full of the precious resources of an army, of a would-be army. Now they belong to us. Get two more uh, workshops and get a little bit more uh, resources, which is pretty nice. And there goes the matrons. They have been puppeted. What do they want me to do down here? Petro Chico Air? Actually, that's not bad. You know, I'm going to grab that right now so we get more range and agility for fighters and casts. And slightly better production costs. Sign me up, man. Improvised tools? Not bad. Construction? Looking pretty good. Looking a little better. Now, I'm sure we're about 100 days in only. Yeah, 95, 96. I mean, these guys still might win. They, they might not, but... You never know until you know, really. Got 10 planes. Not bad. Let's go ahead and throw them out there, then. Maybe they can start to uh, train for us. I'd like to get up to... Well, at least 50 for now. It's only 10 of them, but hey, you know what? They can still be useful. Local workspaces. Sometimes I do them early. Sometimes I don't. Actually, can we go with this one? That's a little bit early as well. I don't want to do anything early. Uh, let's see... Well... Inf oh, da -da -da. Agriculture. Organized agriculture would be very, very nice. After we loot them towers, we're going to be ending the revolts. And finally, the militia dies. Thank goodness for that. Thank the lord. We get even more naval doctors. I guess, like, we're really focused on naval invading. So, not all heroes wear capes. Anna's depression. Oh, that's not good. It's not good to be depressed. Utter denial. Hmm. Oh, division? Probably another infantry. Yeah, that's what I thought. How's the Navy looking? Baragan is looking okay. Naval AA attack, minus 20%. That does not fill me with a lot of confidence, not gonna lie. 9.84 quarterly profit. That's not bad. We've got 20 days left for that. And after this one, it's almost 2276. I'm going to go ahead and grab probably resistors next. I know I said I didn't want to do things ahead of time, but, you know, things happen. Minds get changed all the time, especially between this minute and the last two minutes, you know. Resistors are pretty nice. I will say that this mod isn't as fast as Balefire Blues, but that's totally okay. Tlaloc's illness? Tlaloc's memory banks aren't as fast as they used to be. Could something be happening to dear old dad? Oh, man, don't get me started on that stuff. No, 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 no. Not all here with Roy Capes. That is big sadness. Hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, there it is. Advanced technology. Or ad technology. Scientific electronics tech. Interesting. Oh, Lannis is going to war with the Archdiocese. Alright, well, good luck. We actually have another robot. Whoa. Actually, uh, TAA is trying its best to help out against these guys. I'd like to see... We're already 150 days. What is the war like for these guys? Lannis is Monk's War. Brotherhood Aggression... Uh, let's see. 2,000 some. They've lost like 201. Oh, the smoky smokies. Uh, local workspace might as well as well. Why not? After this, we'll probably end up doing nothing here because it's all ahead of time. And instead, equation of war. Utter denial, huh? Nothing on the right. Zooming out, that's all we've got. I guess we'll probably go ahead and do a La Pesca land acquisition. Sometimes my an army must develop the country for its people. We get a whole single one civilian workshop Reno. We do have a little bit more. Look, our ten thousand manpower, and we ain't done even mobilizing yet. And the push north, yeah, we gotta do that soon too. The fists of the Caldillo. Caldillo. Hope I'm saying that right. Happy twenty two seventy six, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. And okay, so sorry. There we go. For all his disagreements with Tlaloc's management of Mexico, Anna still views him as his father and a protector of the Mexican people. As such, he has taken his illness rather poorly. What will Mexico do without him? The death of the father. Oh, crap. Minus 10%. Oh, I should not have chosen that one. Oh, no, 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 no. Aggressive? More attack? Defensive? Oh, we gotta get more attack. But organic focus? Infantry? Recovery rate? Robotic? Yeah, that's more attack and defense, so that's probably just better to do overall. I'm going to go ahead and grab, let's see, for now, these are not too bad. I'm going to grab this one. 10% is pretty good. Felipe Zapata. And what do we have here? Quarterly income report. We could send out stuff, but I'm going to save up the money for now since we don't have a lot anyways. Let's just go to war. 
please. I want that. We need that trade note. The army's Hlalok. These guys are still probably looking pretty good. We're going to need some anti-tank, actually. That's... Yeah, I should, should have probably started researching that earlier. But hey, here we go. I will put these on the robots, too, just in case. Because robot on robot action is sometimes really hot. But sometimes really hard to pierce each other. <laughs> we all like a little penetration. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways. Hmm. Infantry commit. Guardia. Yeah, 14 combat with men. How many, do we, we got a few spare guns. I'm gonna save it. No, I'm gonna save the army XP for other stuff. Actually, they're actually coming down not too bad. They're actually encircled these guys. That's not too bad. But at what cost to the Republic of the Rio Grande? Build out the arms industries. Uh, they've got, they've got quite a few divisions. TWA, now what happens if this war goes on and TWA revolts? Hmm. Makes you think a little bit. Cool. Tampico land acquisition. Tampico's residents can report to their new assignments. Very good. And there goes Crusher's army. Oh, let me go to war with these guys before they, they die. I, I gotta get Monterey, man. I gotta get it. 20 days. Oh, I don't want to send them volunteers, but... Oh, my goodness. Oh, in any case, I guess getting Kraloxer would not be bad, because that's a lot of resources. Even though it doesn't have any scrap, which we could really, really use. Hmm. The Glowing Ash, which we could use, as well as Linares. Yeah, if they get Monterey, so be it. Oh. Umbra. Alright, so we gotta go to war immediately. I'm gonna at least take Kraloxer layer, so... Uh, you could code there, but I need you guys hit on this way. That'd be good. We can't win on... Wait, they can... They can actually pierce us. Do they have actually anti-tank on the robots already? They don't, but they can pierce me. Now that is unusual. But whatever. Alright, so I'm only going to take the hot locks there. I don't know. I don't really deserve too much here. Oh god, it's going to take a while for us to get some points. But my apologies for the clicking already. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't think TAA really deserves too much. As much as I love... Todd Howitzer. I don't think it really... Yeah, I don't think it really deserves too much. Crud. Oh, God. Alright, so... I'm up for the looks there. Thank you. Uh, we, we would have taken it anyway. And, wow. The glowing ash is worth nothing. I guess it is glowing ash. What do you expect? And is that enough? 326, huh? Oh, whoops. I gave it to the wrong person. My bad. Oh, that's so ugly. There you go. And that's why exactly why I use a stage rusher tool mod, because sometimes I make mistakes like this. There you go. Cool. Smoke signals, don't mind if we do. Actually, if anyone else... Actually, if we let them take it for now, that's fine. They can deal with the resistance. And that means as they deal with the resistance, they're going to get more compliance, and when we take it over, we won't have to deal with all that resistance. So... Kind of a smart thing to do. Now let's go and do the push north. So that Loka is acting erratic, and while he has, for a great time, restrained our actions across the Rio Grande, now is the time to strike. For a while, ChicoNet is limited to protecting Mexico. The database does not specifically specify which Mexican borders. Very good. We should do relatively okay attacking over here, too, so. Yeah, let them put down the resistance. And actually, they get Gloria and Monterey? That's a lot of money. That's alright, though. They can deal with the resistance. Or in the TWA citizen. Oh, you know what? This is probably in our focus tree, but I'm going to go and justify on them, because when they go to war with TAA, that might just be the time when we go to war with those guys. Now, I know it's in our focus tree later on to go buy them, but whatever. Dockyards, dockyards, utter denial. No, no, he's fine. Sure, he stutters once in a while, and he forgets that Chico, Petro Chico's parent holding LLC is no longer with us, but Clelok is fine, fine, I say. Well, unfortunately... I made sure he's gone already, so... But, you know what? That's okay, whatever. I just wanted to see his Santa and his brothers come out a little, a little soon. A little bit more quickly than uh, what some of us might have expected, so... Whatever. Whatever do this. 8.7, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Lanius. 
Out in denial. Pursuant to the general stirs, huh? Order from chaos. Oh yeah. We can do that one. War goal. So we gotta do that one next. We need absorbing. Oh, we can't. Oh, we had to ex absorb the militias. Well, that's my fault. My bad, guys. I didn't realize we had to do that. And we had to be building bridges. Unified coast. Sometimes you should really know what historical is. So that means we're going to manually, manually have to go to war with them. But at first, I guess, the Republic of the Rio Grande. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Oh, well. Hopefully that doesn't hurt us going out there through other focuses. But hey, I guess that we can use more um, trade depots. Trade notes first. Supply. Army usage. Not bad. More breakthrough soft attack. Quality. I like the quality. More hardness and armor. Or quantity. Eh, it's okay. A little more defense is not bad. A little bit less cell usage. More factory output. Eh, quality. Alright, so that is the case. You guys must come over here. And you all must come down here. You all, well, good luck with what you guys have to do. A father of mine, no, Trello cannot die. Santa Anna will not let his motherland suffer, and he won't let his father suffer either. He may have quarreled with a father, but father may have at times thought his son was naive and a little too wild, but Trello and Santa Anna have been in each other's, over each other's rock for over a century. How could he possibly die? Take me back to the day when I was still your golden little boy. Next up, see you, Dad, Valles, a land acquisition. Another day, another community drafted into the Glorious Crusade. That's a very, very quick focus, but... That's okay. We're gonna need more infantry for this. NCR, but that's okay. We need to get the anti-take done anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Prospectors, military society, eh. Anti-tank stuff. I'm not gonna do probably that stuff. We could probably actually get some maintenance companies. That'd be probably good for our robots. Local workspaces. Hmm. Biplane fighters. I mean, planes are great and all, but we don't want to use old planes. We want the newest, the hottest, the best. The CG Hidden Valley goes bye-bye. Oh, these guys are looking pretty weak. But they might already have anti-tank on them, which not be very... Yeah, they already have some saws and recon, but they do have some anti-tank too. So, good to keep that in mind. Path of Progress. They still got a lot of manpower. Uh, stockpile. They got a lot of robots from Maximilian, but hey... If they're actually out of... You no, know, they have some guns. Not any special forces equipment, though. The guys are 15 conduits, so it's not too bad. Railway construction, mandatory service revival, and the equation of war. Santa Anna has turned the art of war into a science. No wastelander can replicate the skills he's learned studying 400 years of tactics. Not bad. We don't need more scrap. Now it's turning our gun production, which is, you know, whatever. It's only gun production. Crawl control gear. Oh yeah, and we definitely gotta get some of this too. Not bad, not bad. Leaving down five is not a bad idea. And what can we do here? The divide was annexed. So be it. Efficiency, output, military factory, resource efficiency. Again, that's not really the problem. Civilian stuff. Cultural advisors we can't really do yet, which is fine. Let's go ahead and discourage traders. We can't distress outsiders. We're gonna go ahead and grab the speed and attack. We like more attack. We like to attack, 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 attack. Now, if we were to attack, we might just win pretty handily, but we'll see what happens. We do have an open hole near our capital, which is not very good. And we have still more than 100 days out, so you never know how much stronger our enemies might be getting. Ten days left. A little more than 10 days, not bad. Smoke signals, after that, let's see. Uh, we'll probably do decode signals, just in case, you know. Decryption, very good. Hmm. I never really read the description before, huh? Cool. Desert Rangers, equation of warp. Now what? And Santa Ana's equation. Santa Anna has spent the better part of the last two years trying to weigh the tactical disadvantages of human resilience and creativity against the potential benefits of integrating them into his armed forces on a larger scale. The core of his dilemma comes from the mathematical nature of his mind, which focuses heavily on the in in innate militant 
superiority of machines which dominate human forces in almost every encounter. However, Anne also acknowledges that the internal flexibility and or intellectual flexibility and sheer quantity of human forces he could bring to bear against his foes could present a variable advantage that he can never truly quantify. His choice in the matter will determine the comp composition of El Ejercito's army for decades to come. Focusing robotic troops or human flexibility? Well, I really want better robotic soldiers, so. So we are locked out of here. Actually, we would have gotten more population that way. And infantry division attack, human strategy, conventional warfare, uh, bonuses, lag infantry stuff. Uh, even 3% more, more recruitable population. Holy cow. And when you go down conventional warfare, you can get even more population post that. Steel legions. Oh, yeah, we want to things faster, better, get more scrap. Yes, please. Mechanical triumphs, not bad. Robotics, that's okay. Better production costs. Honestly, this is... We get so much more manpower that way, but we're, we'll be good. We'll be fine. The fool called Kaiza demands or claims he leads a legion, but lets him face the heroes of Mexico. Assaultrons, Senor Gutsis, Ibots, and even some humans all will work together to protect the nation. Yes, please. Absolutely, yes, please. All right, so good. We got one more division over here, and we got enough army XP for me to put on some at least. Oh, there goes the Texan Brotherhood. Get some at least some anti-tank for at least these guys. Because... The robots themselves might do okay by themselves, but other people need some stuff too. Now, let's take a look. You can't stop progress. TAA, guns for hunters. Hopefully they will rebel when we go to war with them as well. And they can have glory. They can have a lot of the Republic of the Rio Grande. I don't really care. I just want at least a trade node, because trade nodes, you know, they're pretty darn important. Especially when you screw up your focus tree like I did. Whoopsie! Not bad. Let's see, 10 days, not bad. Cool. Because after the Steel Legions, we're going to go ahead and do Mechanical Triumph. Santa Anna learned last last time why the flesh is weak. The robots are much nicer. And a lot harder. Oh, there they, oh, there they go. It's clear we're on the TAA Association. It, the time strike is now. Do we have resistance occupation? Oh, also we probably need to change this too. Always forget to do this. There we go. That's much better. Much, 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 much better. That's why we want to keep a good, steady amount on infantry equipment as well. All right, let's grab some encoded signals. Thank you very, very, very much. We'll probably end this episode going to war with these guys, maybe. How far along are we? Eh, we got 70 days left. Within 70 days, these guys, I'm pretty sure the TWA won't collapse, so. We got a little bit of extra scrap. We got a little bit of extra composite materials. So, uh, making these things isn't too bad now. Trade-wise, we're only minus 23. Holy crud. Um... I don't, we could trade away, but I'm not interested in that, you know. It only hurts our gun manufacturing and convoy, so I'm not really too concerned. Hey, maintenance companies, yeah, we could use that too. So we need some support companies as well. Basic weaponry, all this other stuff. Tri I love triplanes. Oh my goodness, it's one of my favorite things to use in Hearts of Am 4. There you go. Oh, they actually have some power armor too, huh? Well, just in case. I know we don't have enough soldiers yet, but I'm just throwing these on there already. We gotta get some anti-tank. More piercing, more better, as some might say. Los, what's puppet dude? Okay. And how are we looking? Okay, 40 out of 50. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great, but hey, I'll take it. 19-ish days left. The mechanical triumph. Don't mind if we do. Four more armored workshops? Yeah, why not? And stability. Someday, we or some may call the latest crashes bugs, but actually they reflect innovation. Yes, the robots are breaking because of innovation. Adaptable Demi AI. You get four more factories? That's not bad. It's okay. That's actually probably one of the better focuses, actually. This way we'll get quite a few more gliders made and a few more anti-tank rifles. That'll be very nice, actually. Yeah. We're getting rid of our deficit there, too, which is pretty good. All right, so we have 100 political power. Let me know your thoughts. Who should we use in terms of economic advisors? Should we go for civilian and military factory construction speed? Do that a little bit more. Should we get some more production efficiency, retention, and factory output or extraction? Let me know in the comments below. Well, I'm going to go ahead and choose the one that gives us more attack and defense. Yeah, I like attack and defense a lot. Let's go and grab that. No. Engineering. It's a little bit ahead of time. Up here. Grab some basic tools and some clay working. We're good. 
Might as well grab that. Yeah, might as well, right? Now it is left. And then we'll do Robco Design Alterations. Robco is happy to test its weapons for war upon the Mexican populace. When we invade Texas, we will turn the tables. A double 50% research bonus for robotics. Pretty good. Superior designs. Actually, that would probably be better to do, but let's go and grab this one first. And another division. Oh, good, another robot. I love the robots. Oh, I'm sure it's, and we gotta make sure we get we make them thick enough too, just in case, because robots sometimes. Oh, holy cow! They've actually flooded down here. T double A Todd Howitzer, you're doing a great old job. When Nuevo Laredo. Very, very nice, my friends. Robco design alterations, very, very nice. Hey, there we go. All right, it's time to go. Can we actually win the war before this is over? Subject economic modifier. Oh, oh, look at that stabilization. Now, do they attack us? No. Can we attack them? Hopefully. And let's send in 45 glorious planes. Northern Rivals. Okay, well, okay, that's bypassed. Superior Designs, maybe? Northern Rivals is... Where? Oh, right here. Oh! Open-minded approach. Guarantee. Then. Trade negotiations. Well, we can't go down that way. Hardline approach. So be it. Los Siete Leyes. Ooh. El Banco de Avio. Los Fueros. The Departamentos. Daily Compliance. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Can we win down here? Yeah, probably. Oh, did, you, did I not give these guys orders? Am I that big dumb? No, I did give them. I'm not that big dumb. I still gave them orders. So they know what to do. Sometimes they just don't like acting like it, though. Hmm. Timekeepers. Alright, so losses 461 versus 555. Five, five. We've killed off about 146, and we're taking no casualties yet. So we'll see what happens. Get Monterey. We gotta get that trade note, son. Good, we got Monterey, and hopefully we can use that trade note. Uh, we need some money, 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 money. We've lost still no guys. They've lost about a thousand. Very good. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can come down. Eh, well, we need actually seizing Armageddon as well. That's gonna be quite a while. More bottle caps? That's not bad. Even more bottle caps? This stuff is all nice and all. Oh, the southern thrust. I love the thrust. Liberation of Texas. Very good. I'm gonna go grab superior designs. You see, when overheating, the back panel falls off. It's for additional cooling. How ingenious of a pre-war scientist. Very ingenious. Very, very, very. You know, I'm actually gonna put you under someone else. Uh, Raymond Diaz. Cool. And uh, I'm gonna go with the gunslinger. Just a little more defense for these guys. All right. So this, at this point, you guys can have one big old front line and have a good time. There you go. Give them a few hours. Get them maybe a little bit more planning. Tell them where do they need it. Okay, they're not just. They're just already told to go somewhere. Raiders from the south. Late last night, a large fleet entered the side on the shoreline. Slowly and silently, the fleet crept forwards until, from the center of it, five landing craft emerged. Swiftly, these crafts landed on the shore, and out of them spilled highly trained marines for the Chichen Itzen Merodeadoros. They swiftly overwhelmed the small local militia as well as the garrison of nearby mil military installments. The marines grabbed everything they could and burnt down the rest before slipping back into the craft and leaving with their navy that brought them here. Cowards, we must rebuild. Well, at least we lost the oldest guns. At least we got a lot of them, so. The flesh is weak. Oh, it is weak, I tell you what. That flesh is. Mm. Anyways. Anyways. Alright, guys, keep going. You're doing, you're doing a pretty good job, but when you have areas that you could clearly go around and do a very good job in, you don't go there for some reason. Well, can you still get up here, maybe? Eh. I'm just gonna put you right there. There you go. You know what to do. Hopefully. You are AI, so you should have some sort of intelligence, right? And I don't want to forget, we got to increase the size of these uh, robot divisions. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Invest stimulus. Oh, how, how much money do we have? 446, not bad. If that's the case, send us some men prospectors. Mm, propaganda efforts. Sometimes it's worth it, but these ones aren't really worth it. So, New citizens care package could be good. Invest stimulus. Economic resurgence. Great news. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 51. Very, very good. Oh, they're actually checking infantry, huh? 
So, superior designs, don't mind if we do, and Anna's innovations. I like to think my old cores still have some tricks up their sleeves, and so should my robots. Maybe giving them additional processing power would help, and an additional flamethrower can't hurt either. We should probably look into building up our um, robots more. If you like to read about the traders from the Southern Empires, go right ahead. This happens usually every campaign, so I want to go ahead and make sure Santa Anna is an expert negotiator. And since we have the cats for it, we might as well, right? If you can do it, why not? A little bit of lag, something's going on, there you go. Finish these guys off, thank you, thank you. And we're in there, and they died. Yay! I'm waiting for this group to get, get taken out real quick. And, boom. Now, you guys can stop focusing so much on the south, please, because, well, the north. Please, please. Well, I'm going to put you guys down next to Moctezuma, just in case. You can't trust him. You really can't. Alright, so when are we get the next one done? We're about half. Well, I have 10 days left. <sighs> yes, try playing attackers. And robot stuff now. Yes, more max speed for thruster engines. Don't mind if we do. Not bad around here. Keep going, guys. You're doing a, a fantastical job. Rats, if you'd like to read about rats, go right ahead. We're our raiders when you need them. A lot of violence in the wasteland, but you know what? What else is new? And his innovations. And the menace of Mexico. Our own legion will strike at Kaza. Let him come, let them all come. For every loyal Mexican that falls, ten gutsies shall take his place. More scrap, nice. And better production costs. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Doing pretty well. I'm liking what we're doing. So we'll probably divide this up. We'll probably take this. We'll probably take all these southern states of the Republic. And then they can have all these northern states. Now, they're taking a while to take these guys out. We lost a total of five guys. So it's not bad for us. They lost 5,000 guys, which is okay. I mean, they still have some divisions and manpower. Once it glory falls, glory's gone forever. Or glory up for them. Let's take a look at this. So, we're still need more robots. We need more anti-tank glory falls. And we've got Very, 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 very good. So we each get one, me and the TAA, of course. We each get Uno. Thing, there you go. I'm gonna get in. Very good. And you can have the rest, TAA. Mostly because I don't know if they'll actually be able to handle all the resistance. I don't want to take stuff. Oh, we got it again. Okay, trade with the city states of the Great Empires. Cool. For a year? Yeah, why not? So, regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. I think we've done very, very well. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we have a great time with Mexico, Santa Ana, and probably invading Texas. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.